Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be changing thermal pads on a RTX 3070 Ti Founders Edition. Um, shout out Grant for giving me this sweet mouse pad. Uh, it's got my YouTube plug on it. Heck yeah, that's where y'all watching from right now. But we're going to go ahead and um, get started. We're going to take this apart. We're just going to change the thermal pads on it and put it back together and pop it back in this puppy. Alright guys, so step one, we're going to take a little piece of tape. Um, these are, there's these little plastic tabs that are going to come off. So make sure when you take them off, just like that, you know where they go. So I'm going to put that one right there. I'm going to put that one on this position. So Yeah, Torx 5. So get you a little Torx 5. We'll take these out one by one. Tape is going to be your best friend. Um, our little bowl, magnetic bowl, a magnet, anything like that, just so you don't lose your screws. They don't go everywhere, you know. Okay, once those are off, I'm going to take this top piece off. Perfect. So now since that's off, um, we have some chips right here. As you see, those go here. And then this one goes on top of there. Um, we'll get those replaced. I believe there is chips on the bottom side as well. So what we'll do is we'll take this apart. This is not a Torx 5. This is going to be Torx 9, I believe. Nope. Torx 6, maybe? Yes, Torx 6. So, oh, actually, what we'll do, we'll get a Torx 9 as well. Because we have to take this plate off the back. So we'll go ahead and do that now. The little plate comes off, we're going to set that aside with all the screws. Then we'll change our T9 to a T5. Get these screws out. Take this, place it aside. Then we're going to get some little tweezers because these little the wires right here, these ribbon wires, you have a little black gate that you pop up on the rear. Then you grab the wire, just wiggle it out. Be very gentle. Same here, there's a little black gate. Just put your tweezers under, pop it up. Just like that. And then you take your little wires and pull your wire out of your socket. Very gentle. Once that's done, double check everything. All the screws are out. So we're gonna lift this plate up. Just kind of wiggle it at first. It's gonna be it's gonna be connected um, with a the thermal paste and a the thermal pad, so you're gonna have to use a little bit of force, which is pretty scary. But just slowly go at it. You can actually look in here and try to separate it. There it goes. Just like that. I'm going to take this piece off. Alright. Once that's off, now you have these pads that we're going to replace. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is take our thermal pads. We're going to get a little piece of cardboard so we don't cut through. Alright, so now that we got everything apart, we'll take the pads. Um, we're going to measure them up to the components they go below, they go on, um, that they touch. And then we'll cut them. Alright, so we're going to change these thermal pads out. We're going to cut them to size.
All right, once you got these pads replaced, um, you can put them on the card itself or you can put them where they go on the actual cooler. You're gonna go ahead and place this board back on. Make sure these little ribbon wires are not under the board because um, you will need to plug those back in. You can use your little pliers to get them out. If you want to, you can replace the thermal paste um, for the die. I didn't because I don't have any um, and I don't think it'll matter. So what, what you do is you will put your ribbon wires back in, which is kind of difficult. Once those are in like that, you fold down that little black gate, which locks in that wire. Do the same for this one over here. Try to get it in there with the way you see fit. Like that's as far as that one will go. So once you got that back on, you're gonna place this bracket back on top. Get the four screws, screw them in one by one. Um, get them started first. So what we'll do, watch. We'll start this one. Once that one is started, don't tighten it down because because you're gonna need to press this one down with a little bit of pressure to get it started once that's once that's started then you can do your other two and once those are all four started go ahead and tighten them down um, go across first then back across and you'll tighten them down and it, like kind of easily goes and it stops so once it stops then you stop all right so once you got that board placed back on and that brackets tightened you're going to work on replacing these pads um with the 140 by 120 millimeter we have used this much so far which would be plenty um to replace these last couple pads we got right here so we're going to finish that up and then we're going to put the car back together and we'll be done All right, so we're gonna finish up here. We got these thermal pads replaced. And then we'll put this, well, before we do that, we need to get this IO shield back. So what I'm gonna do is, try to show you all this. Once those are in, we're gonna tighten this last screw up here. This one right here. Once that is done, we'll take this uh, plate, place it back on here. Make sure all holes line up. We're gonna replace our T5 or T9 with a T4. We're complete. Um, we're gonna throw it back in here, and we're gonna shut all this down, turn it off. And once that's done, um, shutting down, we're gonna power off the power supply. I always like to be like super safe about it. Um, I don't want to mess anything up. So once that shuts down like that, reach back here, turn that power supply off. We'll take this card. Make sure your two little screws are out over here. Put this baby right there. Just like that until it snaps. Take your power cord. 
wrap it around, plug it in, you take your screwdriver, I have this little extension, it comes with it, it's like a worm, uh, you can move it and stuff like that, it's really cool. So once you get your card in, go ahead and put your screws back in. Always lift my card up just a little bit. Make sure your screws are straight as well. It's kind of hard with this case. Until you're good. You can go ahead and turn it back on. After you turn your power supply on, like that, click it. It'll do its little startup routine. And then it's fired back up. Those are both um, screwed in, the fan's turning. That's what we like to see. We're gonna put it back together and show y'all um, some temperatures in what I was getting before and after. So before I was mining, I would get around like 80, um, 82 VRAM temp. And the overall temp would be like, mid 50s um i didn't pay much attention to that because i knew that was that was good Right, guys so we're getting about 42 mega hash per second on that 3070 ti um we're running like four to six degrees cooler on the vram temps um which is what i'm worried of not worried about but is what i was looking for the gpu temps i don't really mind because i get the fan speed up high enough uh, it cools it off these are my overclock settings plus 1200 on the memory clock power limit at 60 percent um but with that being said that's that concludes the video um shout out to grant again for the mouse pad uh, great workspace great mouse pad um, shout out evan for being my background